Hello and welcome to this video where I will be showing you through how I made the exploration vocal track Breathe using Carriage Brand and just out of the box sounds. Um, I'm speaking to those that are um, relatively new to Carriage Brand. I'm not going to show you how to use Carriage Brand, but some of the components and basically what fun you can have and what you can create with just using your voice, um, your laptop, and basically garage band and the sounds the the out of the box sounds that comes with it so in my track breathe i have um nine layers of voice or tracks they're called each track or each layer features um a sound of my uh that i recorded in this case it's my voice and then once i recorded that um fr a phrase if you like so the style i used was i just record a phrase that may be um, four bars long very short and then you can just loop it if you hover you can see the difference there between um, the options you have available by clicking and dragging you're just looping that same phrase over and over again I use the metronome here uh, just I'll just play that as a guideline for the tempo and the tempo you can change here um, and then you can turn it off so you're not hearing that uh, metronome sound over your track and so I will uh, I'm not sure how loud you can hear the track but I'll repeat the phrase that I did um, and I labeled I relabeled the name which you can do just by double clicking um, so that's just a, a, a reminder and a reference of which track is um, which sound and this is pretty much the order I um, improvised or came up with those different sounds and that's how I worked and this is how you can play there's no there's no right or wrong way of of playing with garage bed and that's a great thing is just like just how much fun can you have um so this came out the first thing was um let me turn that up but I'll repeat it if you can't hear it on the screen which is so that's pretty much the phrase I used and then repeated it. So when you click on that, you can see also that I've tweaked and changed the voice to edge vocal. The next one I'm going to go straight through is boom, boom, dum, dum, dum. And you can tell my voice sounds very different there because this is what I use experimental and monster vocal. I'm just going to flip that back to, um, let's say, classic vocal, just so you can hear the difference. There you go. Dum. Dum, dum. So that's me in my normal voice. And you can even, when you play back, play around with the ones. which was monster vocal. So you can just play around. <laughs> Helium vocal? Nah. <laughs> or maybe yes. So switch that back to, was it month? Oh, no, it was monster, wasn't it? Monster vocal. Um, so you don't lose anything um, in terms of the actual original sound, but you can tweak the voices. So next one, let's go back. I'll put that back to the beginning. Let's play that for you and that's a sip let me click on the track so you can see which I've chosen which voice I've chosen which is edge vocal moving on to the next one telephone vocal and that is okay next one So it's quite breathy on the um, I've actually got a microphone here and the microphone I'm using is um, blue yeah, Yeti speaker which is blue note and then next one again dance vocal another quite breathy sound which is fitting to this very um, I guess earthy tribal type track Next one is an L A G esque I. 
I'm gonna. That's on robot vocal. But I'm gonna put it, flick it back to classic. That's quite high. I. That's. Oh, where did I put it wrong? Let's flip it back. Sounds very different, hey? Oh, that sounds quite like a Dalek. <laughs> megaphone okay let's switch that back to robot so then once i had all those um layers i got to a point so what i do is like record one listen to it back i can hear the next one in my head and then i actually experiment and play it out and then you can move um you can move these um back and forward um and then i started recording <clears throat> same again played each one back and then i could hear the next sound so that's just how it works for me it may be different for you um and then when i had all those layers i then the melody started um coming through and i played a little bit more of this these were pretty much straight off the bat um in terms of when i say that it's just it just came out of my mouth um first go and recorded and looped the voice the sorry the native voice i'm going to play that was something i don't know so the voice or the melody or something i had a few goes at so here is using a guitar sound and just so you know that you don't have to use the voice sounds, you can use the other ones um, included. So I just want a clean guitar, clean studio stack. Can I go back and show you? So yeah, you have three in the, well, in the version of Carriage Brand I have, I have a category of voice, acoustic guitar, and electric guitar and bass. Um, and then there's lots of other options here. Did I just change that? Edit, unload patch. So um, so you can always go back to what that was. Okay, play. Oh no, hang on. What have we got here? So I've left that accidentally, the I on the monster, on the megaphone vocal, whoops. Whoopsie, let's undo the, these ones. And I did a separate line for the, what I call the response of the melody. Um, just so that was just for my um, managing of the tracks and the phrases. Cool, so let's just go straight to the top and undo one by one so you can hear the layers There you go, just to add actually with the last two, I added the echo, whoa, okay, there you go. So here you can select echo and reverb and the amount of echo. And for this to appear at the bottom, you go to this round circle at the top here uh, to play with those settings. I haven't explored too much in this area. I just kept to the basics. So it gives you that echo and or reverb effect. I've got a little bit of reverb there, which are very different. So what else is possible? So this is very, like I said, a very um, tribal sounding track. I wonder what else is possible in Garage Band. What other tunes, what other genres can I explore? And what can you explore? Um, perhaps you can share what you've created just using out of the box sounds and your voice. Your voice is the free instrument. 
um, that we uh, instrument for free that we all have. Okay, so that's it for now. Um, hope to see you guys soon. Okay, bye.